What I'm going to discuss is about the proposed project for the Philippine government called KDO. Here's the content. Let's begin with slide one. Problems in cities. These are the common problems. Traffic, garbage, obstructions, illegal vendors, floods, pollution, corruption, drugs, riding tandem, broken families, and so on. Now this individual receives information on problem in cities from mainstream media like killings, robbery, kidnapping, fake news, and social media like cyberbullying, bashing, trolling, etc. All of these are bad news. They get into the amygdala, a danger detector inside the brain. Peter Diamandis said, no wonder that we're pessimistic. These are negative thoughts. It leads us to deadly emotions. It is based on the book of Dr. Don Kahlberg, MD. They are linked to diseases and disorders. This is also similar to Dr. Charles Mayo, who said something about worrying. Moving now to slide two, which is the solutions to problems in cities. So the solutions for negative thoughts are positive thoughts, like good news, good music, good information, and good entertainment. Now, can new technologies help us in bringing more positive thoughts? Yes, let's innovate out of the new technologies. We can combine different systems and products like CCTV, internet technology, streaming, smartphones, laptops, Bluetooth speakers, and more. Out of these new technologies, we could have a new media. On slide three, we have the innovation. We are going to discuss the alternative of the old media. So the opposite of broadcasting is narrow casting. JCR Licklider was the one who coined narrow casting in 1967, which means targeted market. He is also one of the pioneers of the internet. This new media is also called digital media. Here's a simple explanation. This is a data center with contents that can be transmitted over the internet or computer networks and received by an end user through fiber optic cable. This can include text, graphics, video, and audio streaming. By the way, the one who invented audio streaming was George D. Square. Now let's go back to broadcasting. One of the broadcast twins is radio, which is similar to audio streaming. The only differences are the system and equipment being used. Radio has a station, transmitter, and antenna. In order to receive its audio signal, it needs a radio set. Since audio streaming has a different approach and we don't use transmitters and antenna to transmit radio frequency wave, we need to come up with a new term. So let's use cable plus radio is equals to KDO. Now we have a new media called KDO, which is a system and technology platform to do narrow casting that focuses on targeted market. Check this narrow cast coverage, which could be a public place, supermarket, mall, restaurant, etc. For a public place, we can consider the Muntinlupa Sports Center. We could also have the Phil Invest City. For the supermarket, we can have South Supermarket. For the mall, let's try Star Mall, Alabang Town Center, or SM. Let's pick the restaurant as our example, like Jollibee. As you can see, there are customers inside, and above are the ceiling and wall speakers that are connected to the Jollibee's sound system. Included is a DVD player. Most of the time, they use a CD or a flash drive to play their jingle. Once the customers hear Jollibee's jingle, they become a captive market. This is what advertisers want, because customers got no choice but to hear the commercial. Again, let's check the closest existing media. Oh yes, the radio station. It seems that they are losing the market because most people nowadays would rather watch videos on YouTube, check some pics on Facebook, Instagram, or be on their smartphones and play online games. Since the term streaming is always used in the internet, then let's use the live audio streaming system and change the radio station into a KDO station. In order for us to accommodate the public places, the other commercial establishments, we need to come up with a KDO control inside a KDO to control is the Muntinlupa KDO station. It would be connected to the internet. Next, we replace the DVD player with our KDO receiver that is connected to a modem router, meaning the live audio streaming would be received by the KDO receiver. Once you turn on the power, it would automatically receive the live audio streaming from its website being narrowcasted by the Muntinlupa KDO station. Let me press the power button now. The sound will pass through the equalizer and amplifier. This station ID and music program would be heard over the ceiling and wall speakers. Slide 4 is about competitive analysis. Actually, we have a lot of substitutes, which we also consider as competitors because we are using some similar systems. So we have live audio streaming companies, the Insta Radio, Internet or FM Radio, Satellite Radio, and Flat Panel Display, including social media. The most unique part of our innovation is the development of the KDO Control, KDO Station, KDO Receiver, KDO Speaker, including the other ideas we have. Aside from that, the selling of KDO is done strategically. It is not the same as broadcast. We have a different approach. The details of this are explained in our KDO Peach Deck 2020.
Next is slide 5, the market. This new media is also a new industry. Nowadays, many Filipinos are online, but we still want to go outside to shop around, eat, or enjoy some stuff. Here, we need to chase the people where they are going and staying. We have different kinds of subscribers that fall under commercial establishments and public coverage. For commercial establishments, we have restaurants, malls, supermarkets, and more. For public coverage, we have government offices, walkways, parks, bus, terminals, trains, e jeepneys, passenger ships, and more. We all know that broadcasting is losing its market because of the strength of internet technology, especially social media. The one that's affected so much is the radio. Before, a lot of people are listening to the radio even before going to bed. Now, people are on the internet with their computers, smartphones, and other devices. It means that broadcasting needs an alternative, and that's narrow casting. According to Chris Kramer, who has been in broadcasting for more than 40 years, said in 2009, forget broadcasting, the future is narrow casting. The first example of narrow casting is the events, not as the things you see and hear in an event. You'd see posters, brochures, flyers, streamers, billboards, and you'd also hear the announcements and promos being narrow casted using the mobile sound system and loudspeakers. As you can see, the head turns and the eyes don't stay from one view, but the ears can still hear the announcements from its loudspeakers. This means the best narrow casting way is using audio. Filipinos love music and it all began from our old tradition called harana guitar and singing started our interest in music in fact our very own robert del rosario has improved the audio equipment commonly known as the sing-along system or karaoke in 1983 in this case filipinos are used with sound systems even in political campaigns mini concerts road shows and other events others are making money by offering their mobile sound and light systems what about the ceiling wall speakers and sound systems of supermarkets malls and restaurants before they were used for paging but paging is dead because of smartphones. Besides, white page if we were dubbed as the text capital of the world. How about maximizing all the ceiling wall speakers in commercial establishments for an hour audio program and install wall speakers in public places for a 12-hour audio program? This is how we build a new industry that is a new media called KDO through narrow casting. This time is slide 6, which is the proposed plan. Let me give you first a little background. We have two narrow casting systems. One is the KDO Center, and the second one is the KDO Control. By the way, we propose to build these two narrow casting systems in Muntinlupa City, making the city a hub for digital media and the narrow casting industry. On the other hand, we have two kinds of narrow cast coverage that we are going to use. First, the commercial establishments, and the other one is the public coverage. Under it, we have public places, then the public offices, and the public transport. Sport. Now here's the combination. I'll begin with commercial establishments. These are places that the public usually goes to like restaurants, malls, supermarkets, convenience stores, etc. They are owned by private companies. The narrow casting system to be used is KDO Center. So inside the KDO Center are KDO stations serving different commercial establishments like Jollibee KDO, 7-Eleven KDO, SM KDO, Pure Gold KDO, and so on. Going back to public coverage, these are public places that the public usually goes to like parks, walk ways, barangays, sports centers, etc. The KDO stations are built-in cities owned by the local government. There will be one KDO station per city. This will be controlled and monitored by the KDO Control narrow casting system. Inside the KDO Control are remote narrow cast room, server room, and media lab that are connected to KDO stations in cities and KDO receivers installed in public coverage. These are all managed and controlled by our tech guys. Then public offices are places that the public goes to in order to process needed legal documents like SSS, BIR, and so on. They're owned by the national government. Lastly, the public transport like e-trikes, grab taxis, e-jeepneys, then trains, terminals, buses, passenger vessels, ferries. We can also have airports and commercial planes. These are public vehicles that the public use as a means of transportation. Some are owned by the government and others are owned by private companies. They are being regulated by the government or associations. All of their KDO stations would be built in the KDO center. First thing first. Let's itemize them and see the floor plan. Number one is the KDO Control with two KDO stations, one for Muntinlupa and the other one for Jollibee. So letter A would be the KDO Media Lab area. Letter B would be for the KDO Station booths. Next, letter C for the Audio Production booths. So letter D offices for the two KDO stations. 
Then we have the letter E for the remote narrowcast room. Lastly is letter F, which would be the server room. Number two is the cage receivers. At 30 units, that need to be reproduced and installed all over the first target city, which is Muntinlupa Cadio, which will be in malls, supermarkets, and fast food restaurants. For the Jollibee Cadio, we need 1,200 units of cage receivers simply because Jollibee has 1,200 branches globally as of April 2018. Here, we have to build a Cadio team to handle this. Let's have the business side. So the first one on top is I. I am Nestor Tevez Pangaliban, the founder and CEO of KDO Narrowcasting Media. I'm an AB Philosophy grad and former broadcaster, DJ. I've been in sales, marketing, and advertising since 1990, and a voiceover talent since 1999. I also produced 67 audio production for McDonald's Philippines using their music management, played in their stores, and did events for them. I made a 314 page of feasibility studies and two copyrighted books entitled What You Must Know About KDO and KDO Advertising. Under our tech team, we have a CNO, Chief Networking Officer. He is Alexer Tubiera, who's been in the networking task for more than a decade. His focus is more on computer networking by knowing the needed server in determining bytes for streaming and its settings. Lastly is Dino Blando Sibucao, our CSE, Chief Sound Engineer. He took up electronics communications engineering and he's a sound engineer since 2005. His main role here is to standardize the sound level and decibel allowed in a coverage owned by a head subscriber. Also included, is the calibration of sound by setting the audio quality and the installation of KDO receiver. Going back to public coverage, again, we need a KGU control system. Take note, we can outsource the reproduction of the KGU devices in China. But if we can reproduce them here in the Philippines, why outsource them? It takes bayanian for us Filipinos to achieve our goals, right? So for public coverage, we need to build teams. Muntinlupa City has around 101 schools. The city has an estimated population of 504,509. Here's the Muntinlupa demographics. There are about less than 175,449 students ages from 9 to 19. We only need few. What about ages 20 to 39? There are about 188,293 adults who can help us out. Again, we only need a few. Lastly, ages from 40 and above, which is around 140,767, can still be part of this team because they have more experience. After the KDO receiver comes the research and development. And the next product in line would be the KDO speaker, then the wireless KDO receiver, paving way to four website portals like virtualization for the head subscriber website portal, advertisers and media buyers website portal, virtual assist SAM or assistant, and for the online game, we'll have the brand networking website portal. Up next is the idea of KDO vision. In order to build a strong market that would create more jobs and businesses for the Filipinos, we have have to build the KDO plant and other innovation would come from different high technologies that is called entertainment, also entertainment. This research and development is explained in Annex 7, New Media from New Technologies 2020. Then regarding how to generate income, create jobs and businesses, please check Annex 8, Economic Benefits 2020 and the strength of this proposed plan can be traced from Annex 1, KDO Market Study 2020 and Annex 2, KDO Market Benefits 2020. All of these are available upon request. Let's pave way to slide 7, which is capital and projection. So under capital, first is the seed capital. I invested in building a website, media lab, audio production equipment, prototype receiver, and speaker with echo eliminator covering. It cost me around 200,000 pesos. It took me three years to have all the basic needs of KDO. What we need now is the government funding assistance or grant, which is a Republic Act number 11337, signed by President Duterte last April 26, 2019, about startup funding. Here, we are subject to presidential decree number number 1018, which means that only Filipino citizens can invest in mass media. For capital assets, we need to build a KDO Media Lab, control, stations, and wired receivers. Of course, we need working capital, which will be used in salaries, talent fees, operation expenses, and for sales, advertising, and marketing. For the said items, we need 5 million pesos. This time, the research and development funds. It includes the improvement of KDO speakers, wireless receivers, virtualization, brand networking, plant, KDO vision, center, etc. Next is the reserved capital, which will be 
be used in an emergency, miscellaneous, it is used to support the R&D funds, working capital, and capital assets. This would amount to 5 million pesos. Investment is divided into two sets. The first set would be a 20% stake from our company, and set two is another 20% stake. By the way, these two sets of capital are only good for one year. For series A, this would be done after a year of operation. Here we need to build the KDO Center, plant, and other innovation. The capital needed would be at 100 million pesos. Lastly is series B. That would be done after two years of operation. This will be used for global operations, manufacturing, distribution, and retailing. It needs a capital of 200 million pesos. Let's go now to projection. For year one, we are targeting at least 500 subscribers or branches. Year two would be 5,000. Then year three, 11,000. Year four, at 25,000. And year five would be 65,000. For the revenue, our target would be 241.9 million pesos for the first year. Second year is at 2.4 billion pesos. Then comes the third year, that would be 5.3 billion pesos. On its fourth year, we would have 12 billion pesos. And on its fifth year, 44 billion pesos. For the possible sales percentage, year one is projected at 5%, 10% for year two, 15% for year three, 20% for year four, 25% for year five. Here we could have a net sales of 12 million pesos for the first year, 241.9 million pesos for the second year, 798.3 million pesos for the third year, 2.4 billion pesos for the fourth year, and 11 billion pesos for the fifth year. This time is the percentage of expenses taken from net sales. Year one to year three would be 60% and year four to five would be 50%. So the possible expenses would be 7.2 million pesos for the first year, 145.1 million pesos for the second year, 479 million pesos for the third year, 1.2 billion pesos for the fourth year, and 5.5 billion pesos for the fifth year. And of course, the best part here is the profit. A possible profit of 4.8 million pesos for year one, 96.7 million pesos for year two, 319.3 million pesos for year three, 1.2 billion pesos for year four, and 5.5 billion pesos for year five. ROI could be achieved after two years. See the possible profit of 96.7 million pesos less 5 million pesos of investment? Slide 8 is about the conclusion. Here are the things that we have done so far to justify that this innovation is feasible. First is the KDO Media Lab. In the year 2014, I set up the first KDO Media Lab. Later on, I invested in building a website. Next, I bought another set of items like audio mixer, microphones, amplifiers with equalizer, computers, and subscribed to an internet provider that offers a high bandwidth. Then the KDO production was completed in 2015, which was year 2. It was built for the purpose of making jingles and audio production. Having the things I need, I set up the KDO station in 2016 and that's year three i tested some live audio streaming sites that would really convince me that this audio streaming sites can host a huge number of subscribers which is equivalent to the number of kg receiver needed to provide a service after that i started searching and experimenting on how to build a kg player and a receiver this was also in 2016 it took me more than three months of looking for tech guys to help me out in making the receiver but they were so pricey so i decided to do it all by myself my goal is to come up with an autoplay receiver that is connected to the internet so when I press the power on it will automatically redirect to the site that I'm doing the live audio streaming. After two months I finally made the first ugly prototype KDO receiver. In 2017 which is year four I covered the speaker with foams so it could block the strong sound vibration that creates an echo. This was the beginning of the KDO speakers innovation. The purpose of this new media that is KDO narrow casting is to inform, educate, and entertain. We have a lot of loss but many of our Kababayans don't know even the simple ones. Even it says ignorance of the law excuses no one, still we can't expect or ask them to search for it. We also need to inform people of the good things that are happening in our country. We can also inform people of the projects that the city has accomplished. Another thing is to educate people of its city ordinance, like the segregation of garbage, avoid littering, and more. Even you have a lot of ordinance. Without a good media, that ordinance wouldn't be learned and known by the public. There is a saying that doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but nobody else thus by Stuart Henderson Britt. You can also pass an ordinance that would allow this innovation, KDO, to narrowcast through live audio streaming in commercial establishments by providing them with free KDO receivers and free promotion in exchange of an hour to four hour scheduled KDO program with sponsors. If it's possible in movie theaters, then it's also possible in other commercial establishments by maximizing their ceiling and wall speakers. This would give us peace and order. Now having a good music program or letting the best singer in the city sing live and the talent fees taken from the sponsor 
sponsor is a good project. Based on research by Dr. Ronald E. Milliman, music is thought to improve image, make employees happier, reduce employee turnover, and stimulates customer purchasing. How about using high technologies to entertain people through music? On the other hand, this new media can entertain people by having events that would showcase new technologies. Here, the purpose of the said new media would bring positive thoughts in the city that makes us say it's more fun in the Philippines. See the value? Now, Kadio Narrowcasting Media is the first company that will promote Kadio and is the one that will start the business of Kadio system and technology platform. We want to make Kadio a generic term. We are building a new industry in narrow casting under advertising and half of the market must be regulated by the government to maintain a high standard. Jan Wanamaker quoted, Half the money I spend on advertising is wasted. The trouble is, I don't know which half. Bottom line, there are no perfect media. But we believe that there's a better way to advertise and that's by targeting the ears. This would be through narrow casting using the Kadio system and technology platform. There you have it. Na, na, na.